Hi, I'm Andrew, and this is Blaster Breakdown. Today, the Nerf Rival Fate. This is a handy single shot rival blaster out of the box, but today I'll show you how I installed the AK Blaster Mod single shot brass breech kit for short darts. This is now a top loading single shot blaster. I've got a Blaster Tech Scar up front giving me the performance I need for super stock games right on 150 FPS with excellent accuracy. Before I start though, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like if you enjoy my content. All right, let's have a look inside. Okay, so here's how the Fate comes in the box and here's how it looks out of the box. So we've got a safety over here, we'll get rid of that. T-pull opens the breech as well as catches the spring. Yeah, pretty simple blaster. Let's crack it open. Those are the short screws here and under here. All the others are longer. Okay, nothing to do on this side of the shell. Here we've got the trigger, there's the catch. This mechanism releases the breech. So breech opens with this spring here. If we pull this all out. Plunger, the tube, it's not the tightest seal. We can do something about that. Catch spring, this here is the locking mechanism. So when that's forward, this bit holds the trigger locked. I'll get rid of that. Sights. Okay, that's about it. Okay, so the AK Blaster Mod kit only has a few parts. So we've got brass, which is two pieces. 17 30 seconds will sit about there. And 9 16 will slide over and seal the breech. This is actually nice and shiny. I'm quite pleased with this. I thought I'd have to do some uh, some work on this brass, but that's great. I'm ready to use as it is. The breech is wire cut and actually feels pretty good. So it's not too sharp. Other kits I've seen with wire cut brass have had quite sharp edges. Now this is, this is really good. And so short dart sits in and then that will be sealed. And fire like so. Okay, that's the brass. Pile of O-rings, which is cool. And these couple of printed pieces. So one of them will go the front in here. So this air restrictor will come out. This bit will go in like so. That'll hold the brass. So the 3D printed piece we glued in here, the brass we glued into that O-ring around there, and that'll sit actually a bit further in. And this piece will hold the 9 16 brass all the way in. I think these little holes are for putting a bit of glue. This piece will then fit inside Inside here. Again, some O-rings front and back. And then when the breech is open, it'll look like so. When this slides back, we'll get our seal on the dart inside there. So the 17 30 seconds brass attaches to the front of the plunger tube at the rear, through the breech opening and out the front. And it's only the 9 16 brass inside this piece that moves to slide back and forth. Now, one thing we do need to do is trim these bits off here. So either side, these kind of knobs slide inside this channel. And as it is, they'll only go this far before catching. And that's because this forward edge is hitting against here. So I'm gonna cut away or dremel away the front one and the ribbing in between and just leave 
the rear one in place and that'll give us that extra 12 or 13 millimeters to slide all the way forward when the breech is open. So I'll go and do that cutting now. I'll get rid of this air restrictor and then we can glue the pieces in place and uh, this mod will be just about done. Okay, so for a simple mod, this is working out even easier than I'd first thought. So first of all, the safety, I've just put a dab of glue in there, so that's fixed in place, that's not gonna move. I didn't... Now, the front piece that goes into the barrel, I've just put a dab of glue in each of these holes to hold the brass in place. The rest of it just friction fits inside the barrel. One thing I did find was it was a bit tight around here so I sanded out these grooves for these o-rings just a little and now it fits in quite nicely but with a friction fit that's not going to go anywhere when it's moving back and forth so well uh, that's uh, a little bit easier than I had even thought. Now here you can see where I've sanded away the front of the two uh, knobs on both sides. There are also little wing bits here and here that I've cut away. So now this whole thing can slide all the way forward. One thing you will need to change is the return spring. So the original one that sits here is only kind of strong enough to hold the breech kind of that open and move that far. It's not strong enough to pull it all the way forward that we need. So I reached into my bag of spare springs and found one that looked close uh, and uh, just sort of cut it until it was the right length. So now when that sits on this post here, and close the shell, you can see that'll be pulled all the way forward. So that's good. Another thing I did was stick a few wraps of Teflon tape underneath this O-ring, so it's a slightly better seal in the plunger tube. So that's good. Oh, I didn't mention with the O-rings that come with the kit, there are some that are smaller and some that are larger. Uh, with plenty of spares. The larger ones go around the forward piece, so two at the front, two at the back. The smaller ones go around the bit that sits in where the air restrictor was. So removing the air restrictor is really simple. There's a screw inside the plunger. Uh, just undo that and this comes out. That's my safety, I don't need that. Then this 3D printed piece inside here, that's just friction fit in place, so you can see it's quite flush now I've removed the o-ring that sits here because we don't actually need it for an air seal. Other than that, the brass is glued into that 3D printed piece. Uh, and so that's nice and secure. And that's all we need to do with that part of the kit. So when that goes over, it seals nicely and all the air stays, of course, within the brass from back to front. And now I can pretty much put this one together. Uh, original catch spring. That's good. There's the release. You see how that catches when it's held closed and then when priming that will release it forward and the trigger. All right, so it looks pretty good. Now we've got this bit at the front. How does that sit in there? Yep, looks pretty good. This bit at the back, so that way. And this bit slides up and down. As usual, I'm gonna be replacing the Phillips head screws with these hex head screws. So I've got some eight and some 12 millimeter ones that I'll use and we can just put this back together now. I can test the release. Now you saw the breech opening. Here we go. And in case you're wondering, yes, I did slice my thumb on the brass and um, leaving little blood smudges all over the blaster. That's right, I can tidy that up later. So there we are, that's all held together now. That's moving smoothly. And 
loading your dart in. Yep, that feels pretty nice. And I'll be using a Blaster Tech Scar. This is for 17 30 seconds brass. Just friction fits over the top, and this is adjustable so I can dial in the twist I need to give me the accuracy I want and uh, at the FPS I'm aiming for. So there we go, let's take it outside and get some numbers. Okay, let's get some numbers from the Fate. So Blaster Tech Scar is in place. I've got zero twist at the moment, so this will just be the darts passing straight through. Worker Red Gen 3s. Okay, so those numbers on average are just under 150 FPS, so that's pretty nice. I'm just going to give this three sixteenths of twist and see if that affects my FPS at all. Okay, so those numbers look perfect for super stock events, 150 FPS cap. Let's see how we go with accuracy. Okay, here we are, 50 feet from the target as usual. Uh, Worker Red Gen 2s again. Uh, I've actually found the front and rear sights to be not too bad on this blaster, so uh, let's see how we go. I think it's a bullseye to start off with. left. That's a bullseye. So they are heading a bit to the left. I'm adjusting my aim to the right just a tad. And of course that one goes far to the right. One more. Another bullseye to finish. So I'm really happy with the accuracy there. Quite a few bullseyes, spot on. So 150 FPS. At this sort of range, 50 feet or so, this is going to be an excellent blaster for super stock games. So there you have it. That's the Nerf Rival Fate AK Blaster Mod Single Shot Conversion Kit, firing short darts at 150 FPS. I can't wait to use this one in our super stock games. Please leave any questions and comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.